My name is Julius Mbele. I was born in Osaka, Zambia. My English name is Emily. I come from China. I'm Maria Sabrini. I come from Spain and uh, Madrid. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm from Vietnam. My name is Jeff Race. Um, I was born in Port Angeles, Washington. Um, I think the uh, long history uh, of China is one thing I'm very proud of, and also the uh, development, the rapid development of China is something we're very, very uh, proud of. It was the rugged individualism, the idea of freedom. Uh, we're, we're very big on independence and freedom. Uh, that is a huge piece of American culture. In Spain, we are a country that we really like our culture, and we are very protective, you know? When we see somebody from another culture, we get scared. It doesn't mean that we are racist or anything like that. We are just scared of that people that come to our country is going to change our culture. Just maybe the bulls or, or language. Uh -huh. Also, there are a lot of people that is Catholic, like that's a, a religion. Uh -huh. So they don't like when Muslims come to their country and have another kind of cult, you know? And right. So I think that that's kind of stupid because we are in a world when, I mean, everybody is getting together in the same country and you just have to accept that, but that's, I mean, young people is accepted it more, but old people doesn't accept it very much, back right. in Spain. Uh, my favorite food in my country should be pho, it's Vietnamese noodle soup. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, but I would say if, if this right. rec represents my ho the whole country actually, because we are famous for that only dish. So, any other dishes that come to I'm mind? I'm pretty good too, but that's well. I don't know why, but people chose bit uh, noodle soup, Vietnamese noodle soup, to represent our country. Well, when you mention noodle soup, Vietnamese noodle soup, well, you, you know that it comes from my country. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like I think it's my favorite. Zambians or Africans in general always love music. We always love music. We we have all kinds of music actually. And I just like I just like the Zambian tone. When you think of your homeland or what kind of music comes to mind? The local music. You know, like what kind of it's, it's a culture. I mean, I, I fully embrace it. I may not practice it, but I embrace it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a part of me, and that was very neat. So I, I, I would like, I love the original tunes, and it's mostly drums and the xylophone, and uh, and they make, they make music through their hands, mouth, whistle. You know, like. They they play a flute with their hands like this. Too loud, but they play that they play that, cool, man. they play that. You know what I'm saying? And I was taught I was taught how to do that. Yeah, and they whistle, they clap. You know, they they. I've never seen anyone do that. That's pretty awesome. They use they use whatever they have. Yeah, and that's. That's, that's, that's very neat, you know, you know what I mean? Go anywhere on the street corners of Lusaka and just ask anybody where you can get uh, Mishikaki or Nyamachoma. What's that? It's basically grilled meats. Okay. You know, they, they, um, it's all charcoal grill, you know, it's steak. Chaco grill, but African style made. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And the Mishikaki is just basically kebabs, and they they put all different kind of meats. On it. Right, the, the chicken, the beef, and the pork. Every piece is, you know, yeah. Every other piece is, is a different kind of meat, and that taste combined together. Oh man, they put some condiments, a uh, little green paper, or 
or onions, whatever. But oh man, it's the best you ever have. There are a lot of special things for each reason. You should try, of course, pho. It's the Vietnamese noodle soup. It's the best uh, special food in southern area. Mm -hmm. And if you travel north, you should try um, another kind of soup. But it's still our traditional Vietnamese food. It's What's called, the soup called? Uh, bún bò Huế. But I don't know how you call it in English though. But it's the special uh, dish for northern people. And then if you travel central uh, Vietnam, you should try uh, rolls. Not just spring rolls. There are a lot of kinds like spring roll with eggs and uh -huh. tr spring. The spring roll with tuna, spring roll with fish, the spring roll with um, mm, chicken, or a lot of th a lot of things. A lot of different kind of ingredients. So uh, you, if you travel to central central Vietnam, you should try rolls. Well, I guess uh, I would have to say I would want, uh, well, fries are pretty basic, you can't change, you can put a little more seasoning on there, but uh, uh, a barbecued burger, uh, crispy bacon, uh, some good cheddar cheese or American cheese, whichever you prefer. Uh, for me, it would be cheddar cheese, bacon, crispy, uh, barbecued, definitely. weird food. Like, <laughs> I tried so many weird stuff back in my country uh -huh. that here is not that weird. Maybe mixes, you know, like for example, um, oh, what is called this? Um, peanut butter. Okay. With jelly. Uh-huh. Like on a sandwich. Oh god. <laughs> How can you mix those things together? <laughs> this is so gross. It doesn't make sense uh -huh. at all. I mean, just weird things that I saw, you know, like how people can eat that. Like, it's not, it doesn't get together. <laughs> See, here everyone thinks that peanut butter and jelly Did are just goes, things that yeah, should be together. Be together. It's just, I remember first time when I saw people, like, what are you eating? You know, like, that does, it tastes weird. I wow. mean. Actually, I would say root beer floats. Yeah. I love that thing. <laughs> Uh, I, I I don't know why. Okay, the first time uh, one of my American friends showed me that, I was shocked because I I didn't think you can put carbon hydrate uh, drinks together with ice cream. Uh huh. That's ridiculous. But well, they do that. So <coughs> I tried it and it was good. So I actually I loved it and I started drinking it from then and since then and one of my Asian friends saw that and she was like what the heck are you doing? <laughs> so, oh try this, try this. No thank you. Family. Family, I mean there's a lot of divorce cases here back home. Mm -hmm. That's not that common, you know. I mean, you have people. This it's just family here. There's 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 no sense of togetherness, you know. I mean, in America, when you're 18 years old, you're out of your parents' house. And back home, when you're 18 years old, you're getting comfortable in your parents' house. You work and still live with your parents till when you get married and mm -hmm. move out. That's pretty much the, the time when you move. Or when I come to school, because I know when I go back home, I'm staying in my mom's house. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Whereas here, where, yeah. Whereas here, that sense of family and I guess there's just a lot of things that keep us separate. You know, the internet, the video games, and all that kind of stuff, and it breaks a lot of family values and family quality time that you could be spending. You know, you spend it with other things. Yeah. Well, I guess once again, it goes back to that rugged individualism. Our our belief in freedom of, of in individual rights. Uh, that we don't necessarily have to agree with our government, we don't have to agree with uh, uh, things around us. We have that right to disagree, that individual freedom. Uh, it's a pretty powerful thing, and a lot of, a lot of men and women have died fighting for that. So uh, it's, it's our way, it's our traditions.